Scott, I learned that the accused shooter in that Castleton Square Mall incident back in January is actually connected to a homicide case from November of last year. It's also why they brought in a special prosecutor to determine charges that were filed just yesterday. A shooting outside this home near 34th and Grant November 10th killed area bankhead. My mom was a good woman. She didn't deserve this. We spoke with bankhead's son, Asadi Robinson, shortly after the shooting. We were outside. We were all outside. Court documents show Robinson and his friend Clyde Johnson witnessed that murder. In December, Johnson told police an armed man was outside Robinson's Grant Avenue home. Police confirmed Robinson called 911 to report it. This allegedly caused Johnson to think he was being hunted. January 3rd, Johnson said he was sitting in Robinson's white Chevy Impala outside of the Castleton Square Mall while his friends were shopping. Court documents say 16-year-old Michael Mason and 21-year-old Justin Johnson Sparks attempted to get into that car. Someone grabbing the wrong car door by mistake. We spoke with Johnson Sparks' father, Eddie Smith, days after the shooting. Justin has a white Chevy Impala, the same exact car. The kid went to reach for the back door, and somebody was in the back door, and they immediately started shooting. Those shots would kill Mason. Clyde Johnson then allegedly got out of the car and chased Johnson Sparks before shooting him three times. He told police he believed Mason and Johnson Sparks were trying to rob him. Johnson was not arrested or charged on that date. Just four days later, his friend, Asadi Robinson, was shot and critically wounded at his Grant Street home. The same white Impala was spotted outside the residence. It was also seen outside of the home during the November homicide investigation and was the focus of the Castleton Square Mall investigation. Tuesday, Johnson was charged with voluntary manslaughter, aggravated battery, and battery with a deadly weapon.